This is why PlayStation dominates. Oh my goodness. So there has been a huge, huge announcement uh, that went on on Twitter in regards to a statement by CEO Jim Ryan. And what he says is just, it's a chef's kiss to be honest with you. It is music to my ears because it's constantly a stuff that I've talked about where it's like, yo, What's going on? We only have we only have Spider-Man here. I'm glad for Spider-Man. I'm glad for Final Fantasy. But you know, where's Stellar Blade? Where are the where are the rest of the titles? Yeah, give us you give us more, bro. It's always more, always more. I'm greedy as a as a gamer, as a consumer. But these statements were apparently behind a paywall, and now they're not. And the statements are being released. And one of the statements, which was great, was Jim Ryan talking about how he wants to. Uh, remove the dependence on third-party games. By doing such, he's going to double the output of first-party games. Bruh, that is, that is the chef's kiss. Double the output of your first-party games? Bring it on, Pimpin. That's exactly what we want. Now, he also goes on to talk about how third-person, uh, you know, the beautifully uh, uh, graphics and the, the rich narratives, that is the bedrock of, of, of PlayStation and they're not going to forget, you know, their bedrock. They're going to continue put it, pushing out these third party games. And I'm like, this is good. This is what we need. As long as they continue to, to innovate and inspire and push the envelope on these first party and third, uh, third person games, bro, PlayStation is going to remain on top. He even talks about as far as, uh, you know, the acquisition from Microsoft, where he's like, yo, every you know, publisher he's talking about doesn't like uh, Game Pass. And from what I've seen, you know, from articles and, you know, the sales of Game Pass is on the decline where people are like, they don't, they don't want to do that. So even them buying this up, that up, it's not going to help them where Sony is looking towards the future and Xbox has all these developers, they have all these acquisitions and they have nothing to show. They're buying up the past while Sony is creating the future. Damn. Ooh, let me rewind that for you again, okay? Xbox is buying up the past where PlayStation is creating the future. That is, that, that is Xbox and PlayStation in a nutshell, bro. Xbox and PlayStation in a nutshell. The really only difference between uh, Game Pass everyone talks about and creams their pants over is really PlayStation Now, okay? That's, that's where they got that from. The only difference is that they have first-party titles on it. But the thing is, they don't really have any first party titles that people want to play. One of the series that I beloved series is Gears of War. They butchered Gears of War, okay? Once Blazinski left, I don't know what happened, bro. I don't know what, I don't know what happened to the series. They went cuckoo for Coca Puffs. And I fear what would happen to Doom. Because it, it seems that everything that Xbox, you know, touches turns to poop. It turns to mediocrity. There is no innovation. There is no in nothing inspiring there. And, you know, I, God forbid that befalls PlayStation. Nevertheless, he, he talks about, you know, when it comes to Nintendo, right? The Xbox talking about what would be our greatest dreams to acquire Nintendo. Bro, stop trying to inquire and create. Did, did you, do you all ever think about that? Stop trying to acquire all this talent and create. You are mediocrity acquiring talent Guess what? You're only as good as the people who are in charge of you. If you have a mediocre as far as manager, your work is going to be mediocre. They're not going to inspire you to do better. They're not going to inspire you to do greater. They're, you're not going to be greater. You're, you're the sum, the lump sum of, was it, the five or ten people closest to you? That's how that works. And Xbox is screaming mediocrity. Well, hopefully it seems that PlayStation is looking towards the future like, hey, we, we hear you, and this is what we're trying to focus on. This is precisely what many gamers are hoping for. Precisely what, what Jim Ryan has said here is exactly what many of us are hoping for. Hey, we don't want just two titles, okay, first-party titles per year. We want four-person uh, first-party titles per year. Hell, five, six, how many, how many you can give us, okay? So double your efforts there. And he even says that he's making more, you make more money on the first-party titles than the third-party. So I'm like, double your efforts there and it will definitely pay off. If the quality and the experience is there for these first party titles, it's definitely going to pay off. A hundred percent. Because then it goes back to what it's always been. 
and that is the console wars. And I know this new generation of, you know, they, them, you know, kids talking about the console wars. Why do you guys care? That's, that's what it's been. That's what it's always been. If you don't have a team, well, then you're pretty much a bystander. Get off the field, okay? Get off the field because some of us are in this war. It is what it is. And I want PlayStation. I bought a PlayStation because I think PlayStation is going to win. That's why I bought one. The moment in time that that's not the case, the moment in time they give up, which is what, you know, uh, uh, Spencer is doing or what it sounds like, then I will switch over. I will switch to the winning side. But as long as PlayStation keeps giving me their best and trying to innovate and inspire and keep pushing the boundaries, then, bro, you got a soldier. That's how it works because no one cares about PC. No one cares about the Switch. That's what it's mainly been about. It's mainly about PlayStation versus Xbox. And if they keep on putting out first party uh, 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 games that are great and awesome and are winning game of the year, bro, obviously PlayStation's a choice. Obviously. It's, it's just a win-win. Everything that eventually we get on the a PS5, some of them just goes to the PC. Now, we, so it's, they're double dipping. It's just genius what they're doing. As long as they keep up the quality of the games, as long as they keep it entertaining, they keep it fun, right? That is the main goal of game design. Is it fun? Bro, what are we talking about? I don't know what Xbox is going to do. They very well may shut down. They may shut down. What they should be doing is trying to see if they can poach some of the creative teams of these, of these first party developers. That's what they should be doing. They should be going to, 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 to Naughty Dog be like, yo, do anybody y'all want to come work over here? Do, you, do any of the creative designers want to come work over here? Directors, huh? Come over here. That's what I think they should be doing. Instead of uh, taking these, these studios, these acquisitions, Bethesda, what? Activision, Blizzard, you know, what, what are you? I don't know what they're thinking. And Jim Ryan even goes on to say as far as with the live gaming services. It's like, yo, we're trying to compound our our investment. We're trying to say, hey, we got the bedrock, but we're also thinking of more. We're doing the live gaming, the live service uh, gaming. So we're trying to set up for the future. We're trying to kill it in the future. And I think that's what they're very much going to do. I think it's been a bit rough. Not going to lie, it's been a bit rough this year, okay? Because there was a lot of expectations that we had that it was like, okay, mm, kind of fell short. I mean, that's nothing compared to Xbox. But there's only so much you can compare to Xbox, right? It's like comparing yourself to someone who, you know, who's, who has Down syndrome. Like, yeah, you're going to feel good about yourself at the end of the day. But is that really what you want to do? Is that really the comparison you want to make? And as long as Sony's on top, there's really no one they can compare themselves to. And that's honestly the biggest, that's the best problem to have. Where it's like, yo, how do we get better? The only way we can compare ourselves is compare ourselves to ourselves how do we do better than what we did previously because no one else is doing what we doing anyways guys yeah. that's the video let me know what you guys think we're not believe look, look you're just a sony pony okay xbox is winning all right starfield starfield look it's a starfield it's amazing uh or if you have sleep I, I know you guys have starfield the, the game of the generation uh we'll see if that's reflected during the the game awards um it's surely not being reflected during sales and gameplay, but you know, it is what it is. Nonetheless, uh, if you happen to disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement day, which is today, lucky for you. It's typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing. They're buying up the past while Sony is creating the future.